Brentech here where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to show you how you can perform a clean boot on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And performing a clean boot can be quite beneficial in determining and troubleshooting software conflicts as an example, helping you to fix performance issues and also identify and fix startup problems. Now before we start, if you are asking the question, um, what is the difference between a clean boot and booting up in safe mode? And um, there is a couple of differences because both are diagnostic modes used in Windows to troubleshoot um, issues and are similar but used for different purposes. And first of all, what safe mode does is it shuts down everything except the things necessary for a Windows OS to start, which will include things like um, core uh, services, background processes, and essential drivers, and is used for hardware and software related issues. That's what safe mode is all about. Now, what clean boot does, which we're talking about today in this video, clean boot basically assumes that Windows is not the problem and then doesn't disable anything related to Windows, but disables third party services and startup programs to help you identify the root cause of so called app related errors. So, in a nutshell, what clean boot is all about is it's when Windows boots up with a minimal set of drivers and essential starter programs to help you identify if a background program is interfering with your app or piece of software. So that's the circumstance why you would want to, as an example, perform a clean boot. Now, performing a clean boot is actually quite easy to do. And I know I'm showing this on Windows 11, but you can actually follow the steps in this video because it's a very similar process over on Windows 10. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to open up MS Config, also known as System Configuration. So it's buried quite deep in the OS. So what I would suggest is just head to your search and do a search for System Configuration. Okay. And once that dialog and menu is open, then what you need to do is navigate to the Services tab at the top. It's slap bang in the middle of those tabs at the top, Services. And yeah, you'll see at the bottom left a little toggle to hide all Microsoft services. And uh, what this will uh, do, it will ensure only non-Microsoft services are disabled. And then yeah, you head to the right, the bottom right, and you click on the toggle, disable all. And then once you've done that, once you've disabled all, then you head to the startup tab next to services at the top again. You open up the task manager. And then what you will do here is you will see a list of enabled apps, basically. So these are the apps that are starting up uh, in the background. So anything that's enabled, you select that item. You'll have to do this one by one. And then at the top here, you'll see disable. Okay. So any app that's enabled, you click on that and you click disable. Now what I would do, just on a side note before doing this, because obviously this is going to help you later when you want to reverse this process, is I would just take a screenshot of what's enabled in case um, you're not, you, do, you, you can't remember. Just as a quick safety net. Because then when you repeat the process to revert and reverse the process, you can look at that screenshot and then you can just re-enable the um, apps that you disabled using this process. Now getting back to the clean boot. So once you've disabled all the apps that are listed as enabled then what you would do is you would close task manager and then on the system configuration dialog and menu you would then click apply okay and then once you've clicked okay what's going to happen is you will see a little dialog and menu pop up which um, will give you an option to restart your computer and then you click on restart and obviously then this will restart your computer um, using clean boot and then obviously you can use that then and see possibly what app or piece of software is interfering with your performance or is maybe causing issues or is causing startup problems just to mention a couple of examples now if you want to disable clean boot and you want to reverse the process um, what you need to do is just follow the steps in this video and reverse the process. And that's why I said take a screenshot of the apps in Task Manager that you disabled that were previously enabled. So you would just reverse the process and then you'd restart your computer and then everything will be back to how it was before 
performing a clean boot. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.